Hi, my name is Gene Avery. My wife and my family and myself run the Priceless Parrot Preserve. It's the first and only 501c3 preserve in New York State dedicated to the permanent care of abused, unwanted, and mistreated exotic birds. Uh, we got started by, like most people, buying a bird, except that we ran into some problems with the bird and didn't know what to do, starting to do research, and we made a mistake like a lot of other people make by buying another bird to keep it company, thinking that that's what it needed. Starting to do research, and now we had two birds on our hands, and and we liked it. Um, so we started to take in, you know, nasty birds that had been through several homes already on our own. Hi, my name is Marietta Avery, and I'm part of the Priceless Parrot Preserve. We do not breed, sell, or readopt out any bird that we take through our doors. Our mission is to take in any bird that's abused, unwanted, sick, as long as it doesn't have anything that would cause the rest of our flock harm, uh, to be able to have enough room to do it, and then to turn them around to try and socialize them. And if we can do that, we take them out to places like Atlantis Marine World. As a matter of fact, Atlantis has also included us in their educational programs so people can um, actually come and hear us speak directly to them, whether it's a class of Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. They're in the process of building a permanent aviary here for the Priceless Parrot Preserve. So at all times there will be information and birds available to show. Maintenance of the birds is, it's a lot of work. It's, uh, they're a high maintenance pet. And when you have over a hundred of them, that's, uh, and each, each bird has its own individual cage, which we have to clean two or three times a week. The individual attention that they receive is daily. It's absolutely a requirement. The amount of attention depends on the species of bird, how much abuse it's been through, and how well it takes to its surroundings, what its disabilities may be. The birds are set up so that each bird has its own individual cage, so they all have their own space. Uh, and we let them out at different times during the day so that they can come out and exercise and flap their wings and interact with us and, um, and that type of thing. When you buy one as a pet, you're their flock. They need that attention from you on a daily basis. They have to, you have to take a certain amount of time out of your day to make sure that you pay attention to them and interact with them. You get to know what they like and you get to know their dislikes. <laughs> And it's really good having to know that you have a bird that loves you. These birds didn't ask to be here. They didn't ask to be pets. So to buy one not knowing what you're getting into and then just discarding it later on down the road because you don't want it anymore, to me, it is a sin. Uh, I get the honor of taking care of God's creatures. Um, he, put the, he put them on this earth to make sure that everybody has beautiful things to look at. <laughs>